presente en todos los órganos y en los casos cada vez más frecuentes del unilateralismo plantean graves desafíos y amenazas que atentan directamente contra los principios y propósitos fundamentales And the main proposal de las Naciones of the United Nations Charter. Today, we can affirm without fail that multilateralism and the United Nations, just as we've seen for the last decades, are under pressure and under attack, and also um, under an attack. Multilateralism is changing, but not precisely in its right Mucho direction, much less in this moment is capable of warranting all the members of the international in community, in especially in the sphere of peace and security. And in the last instance, in the direct implications it has on the, on the sustainable development, y principios contenidos the en la Carta de Naciones Unidas y el derecho Charter internacional por un denominado nunca debatido y plagado de enfoques selectivos tienen el potencial de socavar el Estado de Derecho en el ámbito internacional y los preceptos contenidos en la Carta Fundacional de nuestra organización. Las consecuencias de este intento de erosionar el multilateralismo the consequences of this attempt to degrade multilateralism could be terrible for the balance of the world peace and the international order. To move forward to a peaceful world, it's necessary to address effectively the roots of conflicts, poverty, and inclusion and within nations that create conflicts in the whole world. Therefore, it is evident that without sustainable development of the whole population of the world, peace won't be achieved. To maintain peace and international security is the most important task of the Security Council, but it's important to take into account that this task must be carried out according to the principles established in the Na United Nations Act. Mr. President, the securitization of international relations has a negative impact, especially in developing countries. Instrumentalization and politicization of the Security Council to achieve uh, advantages constitutes to uh, his lack of action of uh, this matter, where we are witnesses of brutal genocide on one side of the position of the United States and the lack of um, response of the Security National Security Council about it. All of these part of an effort to perpetuate impunity of this power a reality that took the life of more than 40,000 innocent people. Therefore, the works of the Security Council must reflect the reality of a multipolar world based on mutual respect of sovereignty, the principle of equality, rights, and political dialogue, tolerance, peaceful coexistence, the culture of peace and nonviolence, and the respect for the principle of non intervention in internal affairs of states can uh, stop the use of force against the territorial integrity or independence of state. To conclude, the member states of the Friends Group in defense of the United Nations Act renew its commitment with the world order, equitable and fair according to the principles of the Nas United Nations Act to advance in the three principles of our organization, peace, security, sustainable development, and human rights. Knowing that its realization will honor our promise to don't let any, don't left anyone behind and address the necessities and aspirations of we, the peoples of the United Nations. Thank you very much, Mr. President.
We listened to Venezuela's Foreign Affairs Minister Ivan Hill as he assured during the United Nations ceremony, multilateralism is the alternative for a better future. To maintain peace is the most important task of the United Nations as established by the United Nations Charter. The high official condemned the lack of action of the Security Council of the United Nations regarding Palestine's situation and the genocide perpetrated by Israel. Political dialogue, peaceful coexistence, respect the principle of no intervention, those are facts that must prevail. This is all for the moment. Stay tuned with From the South.